What's going on guys? It's been a while since I've been given an update on the tree. It's basically be a four year update on the tree. So let's start with the trunk. You know, it's gotten pretty decent since, you know, the first year. The tree itself is pretty dang big now. It's definitely taller than the fence itself. Um, the leaves, every year it's just getting better and better. We actually had to trim um, some of the branches off just because there was a lot of cluster in the bottom. We just want a, one single trunk that goes up, but as you can see, it's beautiful. This is the red or white red bud tree. Also this year, at some um, shrubs against the the wall so the baby gem um, boxwood so we got basically one two three four five six it's gonna hopefully cover that so it's already past it's like blooming um, season where like it has that nice white color it was like maybe like a month ago um, it gets to this phase where it has like this little like pea looking thing uh, looks, you know, pretty pretty cool. The leaves are green, you know, nice and green. Really tall, really thick. I mean, this thing has just survived, like, you know, the heat and whatnot down here. So, really happy with that. Over here, while we're moving across. Um, so, these are the magnolia trees. Um, you're probably thinking, like, oh, it looks shorter. It looks different. Yeah, because it is. Because the teddy bear ones that we tried did not make it. They all just died. Um, and then so we replaced it with another magnolia tree. This is the little gem One that we bought locally So hopefully that they do better um, Some of them do have like burnt like leaves, but we're hoping that they don't have that that disease um, on the leaves that they were having on the uh, the teddy bear um, And again if they don't so if, if these ones don't make it these magnolias don't make it we will probably end up getting something else and just doing maybe just one here um but yeah we'll see so th these are freshly planted um this year as well and then this right here is a new one look at the leaves on this guy this is also a red bud tree so this one compared to the one over here uh, the only difference is um, this one's a like an actual red red one. So here's the name of the red bud and um, So other than it being red the leaves they change color uh, during fall and, and spring uh, Where it'll be more of this red color. So I initially wanted like a kind of like a, um, a maple tree, but because it's so hot here you need kind of like a established tree to give it shade um, if you want it you know to get a maple tree so this was kind of our so this is kind of our tree that kind of does a little bit of both where it has nice um, leaves where it's red but also you know having a red bud already over here that's established growing really well um, we know that this will probably do really well as well um, this one's about the same size it won't grow as as tall as things like 15 feet or something like that so it's perfect and thinking if those three don't make it back there, we're just gonna do like another red, like red bud tree, maybe a different one. We we'll just plant it in the middle of there somewhere, because I mean the red buds, um, man, they their colors are just amazing during spring, um, and they just they just come back. They're just like super super hardy. So yeah, hopefully this guy in the next couple of years will turn out you know just as big. Um, we so. This guy is definitely a lot smaller than this guy when we bought it. I remember when we bought this tree, it was a four or five foot tree. So it came up to be like somewhere here-ish. Yeah, maybe somewhere like right here. Um, and so this tree here is probably like a foot to a foot or foot to a foot and a half. Yeah, actually maybe two foot, two foot shorter. So it's gonna take a, some time to grow, but that's okay. As long as it's healthy growing like this, I think it'll be fine. That's what's new with the backyard. The grass is, you know, still struggling with the grass. There's a lot of weeds. Um, but taking things slowly. Still struggling with weeds, but uh, you know, I'm going to 
slowly try to figure out what's going on there, but yeah. This tree here is doing well. I'm happy with that. But yeah, so this is the update on the backyard trees and plants. So hopefully these bushes will take off um, in you know this year here, and hopefully next year we'll get like nice bushy ones. And these guys are supposed to go, I think like three to five feet wide. So that's why we kind of spaced them like that. It's about that three foot zone. And then tall wise, I think it's about three foot too. So you can get like, you know, that high. So it'd be nice. And then if we kind of like that, we might carry it across completely over there. Again, if those don't make it, it will be probably a, a good idea to have like another red bud over there somewhere in the middle and maybe carry the bushes across or something like that. That'd be pretty nice. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Like always, till next time guys, peace.